When you look up our title in the index of a quantum mechanics textbook, what you will most likely find is this relation for the variances of two angular momentum components due to Robertson. So why are we not happy with this textbook material? Well, in some sense, this is not even an uncertainty relation. Consider for a moment what that should be. If you follow the analogy of position and momentum, an uncertainty relation for two observables A and B is a relation that constrains the variances of A and B as measured on the same state row. So here are the two experiments this refers to with the output distributions indicated. For every row, we take note of the variances and get one point in this diagram. Changing row gives more points, and in the end, this shaded region. Now, the uncertainty principle demands that you cannot get both variances small, that is, in this diagram has some white space around the origin. Robertson's relation will allow no such conclusion, but our paper gives many results about this. Actually, we provide you with an efficient algorithm to compute the precise trade-off curves for arbitrary observables A and B. So here are the diagrams for two angular momentum components for various values of the angular momentum quantum number s, 1 half, 1, 3 half, 2, and so on. Actually, there is nothing to stop you from doing the same thing for all three components, so you get 3D objects. Here is the example for s equal 1. You can also build this model by using the paper cutout in the supplement. So far we discussed only preparation uncertainty. However, there is always a dual aspect called measurement uncertainty which describes the errors when you try to measure two observables A and B jointly, that is, with the same apparatus. This also covers a scenario when you first measure A and then try to recover B. In that case, you will capture the trade-off between the accuracy of the A measurement and the disturbance on B. We look specifically at the case when your joint measurement covers all possible directions, i.e. the output of the joint measurement is an angular momentum vector. The marginal observables are then obtained by taking only the component along some unit vector E. This is then compared with a quantum measurement of angular momentum in that direction.